Okay, we're going to discuss ratio of multivariate polynomials. This is in chapter five. Multivariate just means having more than one variable. In order to reduce a rational expression to its lowest terms, we first need to find the greatest common factor of all of our terms. Now our greatest common factor in this case, we have a four, a 10, and a two. Two is the largest number that will divide evenly into each of these. Then we look at our variables. Here we have a u, here we have two u's, and here we have three u's. So the most u's we can remove is one. Here I have x's, but I have no x's here and no x's here, so I can't remove any x's, and the same for the w's. So this is my greatest common factor, two u. What I'll then do is I will factor 2u out of each of the terms. If I take 2u from 4ux squared, I'm left with 2x squared. If I divide and take 2u from 10u squared, I'm left with 5u. And then if I take 2u from 2u to the third, w to the third, I'm left with u squared w to the third. I can then cancel my two u's from each term, leaving me with a final answer of 2x squared over 5u minus u squared w to the third. For another example, I have 16, 16, and 4, so my greatest common factor for those numbers is going to be four. It is the largest number that will divide evenly into each. Here I have five y's, two y's, and five y's. So the most y's I can take are two. This has an x, this has a v, but the top term has neither. So I cannot remove anything else. So I factor four y squared from each of the terms, leaving me with 4y to the third. Taking 4y squared here, I'm left with 4x squared. And taking 4y squared from my last term, I'm left with v to the sixth, y to the third. I can then cancel all of my 4y squareds which leaves me with a final answer of 4y to the third over 4x squared minus v to the sixth y to the third. For our final example, I have an eight, a four, and a six. My greatest common factor between those three numbers is a two. I have x's in all three terms. I have five here, three here and six here. The most I can take is three. I'll factor out two x to the third from each term. That leaves me with four v to the sixth x squared. Here I'm left with two. And finally I'm left with three x squared y squared, sorry, x to the third y squared. Canceling out my two x to the thirds, that leaves me with four v to the sixth x squared over two plus three x to the third y squared. And that completes this lesson.